Hey guys and girls, in this video we're going to take a look at the best instant cameras. I have made my research and this list reflects my personal opinion, and I have listed products based on quality, durability, price, and more. I have included options for every type of consumer, so if you are looking for an entry level option or the best product money can buy, we may have the product for you in this list. If you want more information and updated pricing on the products mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description down below. The products mentioned are in no exact order, so be sure to stay to the end so you don't miss anything. Also, if you want a chance to win one of the instant cameras in the video, just subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell, and leave a comment with a hidden word in the video. We will pick a winner and notify him when we reach 5,000 likes. Okay, so without further ado, this is our pick of the best instant cameras on the market right now. Coming at number 8, we've got the Fujifilm Instax Square SQ20. Fujifilm marries digital and analog with the Instax Square SQ20. It's a hybrid between a digital snapper and the company's widely popular instant film cameras. If you go to the digital route, the SQ20 captures high resolution pics, 1920 by 1920 pixels. You can store up to 50 images with the camera's built in memory and a whole lot more on a micro SD card. This camera is also the only instant film camera that's also able to capture video, making it fun for quickly uploading loops to apps like Instagram or TikTok. A 3 inch LCD display on the back of the camera will help you compose your shots, preview them after capture, and edit them before printing. There are plenty of shooting modes to choose from, including a double exposure option. Coming at number 7, Polaroid Originals One Step Plus Camera. While Polaroid used to be synonymous with instant film photography for a while and has slipped from the top, even stepping away from instant film at one point, but it's safe to say Polaroid is back and it just might be better than ever. The One Step Plus has all the bells and whistles you'd look for. Bluetooth connectivity, so you can hook it up to your phone. Fully manual control, double exposure, a self timer, and a rechargeable battery that lasts up to 60 days of use. When we tested the camera, we found it to be equally fun and functional. It's nice to be able to control the shutter through an app on your phone. Plus, we were quite impressed with the quality of the prints. One caveat, replacement film is expensive. The camera is compatible with Polaroid Originals, iType, and 600 type film, which cost around $2 per shot. If you want to save some dough, consider the analog Polaroid Now camera, which doesn't have Bluetooth but features a nifty autofocus. Number 6. Kodak Step Instant Digital Camera if you want to snap digital photos on the fly and still print the occasional memento, look no further than the Kodak Step. This instant film camera not only has a built-in printer, but also lets you store your photos on a memory card to later share online. Our senior food and drink editor, Danielle St. Pierre, is the proud owner of one. She said the camera prints photos on zinc paper, which are tiny 2 by 3 inch prints with an adhesive back. Unfortunately, Zinc's quality isn't quite as good as those of other offerings, but St. Pierre said she's still happy with her camera, even though sometimes images come out a little out of focus or with added light effects if you don't stay perfectly still. She says it adds to the vintage aesthetic of the whole experience. Coming in at number 5, Fujifilm Instax Wide 300. Another offering from Fujifilm, this option prints some of the best photos out of any film camera out there. That's thanks to the larger format of its prints. The Instax Wide 300 produces photos that are 3.4 by 4.3 inches, as opposed to the usual small square prints of most other instant film cameras. Tester Scott Simone brought his Instax Wide 300 camera with him on a trip to Italy and Ireland. He said that it was perfect for taking landscape photos. His prints came out clear and he said he loves the throwback retro feel to them. Replacement film is easy to come by too. Simone buys his at CVS, but it's also readily available on Amazon for as little as 75 cents per shot. Coming at number 4, Kodak Smile Classic Digital. 
Kodak Smile Classic Camera improves upon other Zinc cameras, like the Polaroid Snap, by reproducing larger prints that are more detailed and sharper than the rest. But Instax cameras, like our best overall pick, print faster and in better quality. The Kodak Smile is still worth considering for its larger 3.2 by 4.5 inch, large white bordered prints, which will make you nostalgic of your Polaroid days. Like the Instax Mini Lee Play Hybrid, this camera lets you print images stored on your smartphone too. Number three, Fujifilm Instax Square SQ1. The Instax Square SQ1 is compact, easy to hold, and has a nice little window on the bottom right that tells you how many exposures you have left. We love its vintage aesthetic, accented perfectly by the color options of terracotta orange, glacier blue, and chalk white. Besides looking cool and eclectic, the SQ1 shoots one by one square format shots and has an always on flash. It offers enough battery life to snap 300 shots before needing to be recharged and has a convenient selfie mirror. This option uses the same film as other Instax cameras we previously mentioned. It's worth mentioning that it lacks a self timer and doesn't support double exposure photography and landscape mode. Coming in number two, Fujifilm Instax Mini 11. This Fujifilm is one of the most popular instant film cameras around. Our art production manager, Bridget Clegg, has owned the extremely similar Instax Mini 9 for the last four years. She said it's always a hit in DIY photo booths at weddings and for documenting bachelorette parties, and that the camera is reliable, easy to use, and has good image quality. This quirky looking camera builds upon the Instax Mini 9. It has an optical viewfinder, automatic exposure, a built-in flash, and it does a better job at taking selfies. It's everything you need to capture life's events on the camera's credit card size prints. We think it's the perfect option for kids and new photographers. The one downside is that the camera requires two AA batteries, which may require changing often, but that may be outweighed by the numerous color options. Lilac purple, sky blue, ice white, charcoal gray, and blush pink. Number one, Instax Mini Live Play Hybrid. This Instax Mini was tester Kayla Ramsey's first instant camera. She said she was uncertain if it was a good investment because she worried it wouldn't get much use. After many months of constantly tossing it in her bag on her way to meet up with friends, she's happy to report she hesitated for nothing. She loves it so much since it's stockpiled film. What made it stand out to Ramsey was its digital screen, which led her preview shots before she printed. That way, she didn't waste precious film on duds. She also said she liked that the camera lets users print multiples of shots to give to friends. That brings us to the end of our review and buyer's guide for the best instant cameras. Hope to see you in the next video. Let us know in the comments, what is your favorite one? And if you like this content, don't forget to subscribe and get notified when we launch new videos. Thanks for watching. Peace.